Have you been rounding your shoulders forward, your neck with tight upper back and chest muscles due to cold freezing weather? Hi, my name is Annie and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. Join me on this gentle beginner Pilates probe for posture, concentrating on our upper back. Due to cold weather, it's nice to counteract this posture. So get your mat ready and join me. Okay, my friends, let's start in sitting position. In cross-legged, keeping your spine straight, shoulders straight. With your breathing, placing your hand on your abdominal muscles to feel your core engagement as you inhale and exhale. Now gently place your hands in front of your knee area and gently look up. Pull your shoulders back as you inhale and exhale relax this is a gentle way to slowly warming up engaging your upper back as you look up gently holding on your knees to help support your posture and exhale if cross-legged position still makes you slouch forward you can place two to three pillows on your bottom to help support your spine so slowly pull your shoulders back as you look up, inhale, exhale, relax. Two more deep breaths in, exhale, relax. Inhale through your nose as you look up, last one, exhale through your mouth and relax. Gently lift your arms up. To a W position. So my elbows are bent to 90, fingers pointing up to the ceiling. Both arms look up as you gently pull your hands back, keeping your elbows level to your shoulder, and slowly look up as you inhale and exhale. Slowly point your hands and fingers down to the floor, keeping your elbows bend to 90 as much as you can if you're on this level and it's hard to point all the way down to the mat that's fine as you inhale slowly lift your fingers keep it to 90 your elbows and shoulders look up gently as you point your fingers up and gently go all the way down to warm up your shoulder joint exhale you might feel some pulling pain in front of your shoulders and that's okay as long as it's not a lot of pain it's just a gentle stretch inhale look up and as you exhale pointing your fingers down you keep your head level straight two more to go inhale up exhale point down you might feel your shoulders getting tired last one inhale up and exhale down now slowly reach forward with your elbows straight now relaxing your elbows a little bit your palms facing each other thumbs pointing to the ceiling as you exhale opening to the right slowly turn your head to the right opening your chest as you inhale and then exhale back to the center now switch it up to the other side as you inhale keeping your core engaged your pelvis squared exhale back center try not to twist too much on your spine focusing on your chest and shoulders as you inhale exhale back inhale to the other side and exhale back now we are slowly progressing as you open you're slowly looking and tilting your head stretching your shoulders more so i'm tilting i'm leaning my right ear towards my right shoulder as i inhale and exhale back 
Now switch it up to the other side as you inhale. I'm tilting my head, my ear almost touching my shoulder. And slowly go back center. Last one, open to the right, inhale. Tilting my neck, my ear almost touching my shoulder. Exhale back. Last one to the left, inhale. Tilting my head, my ear almost touching my shoulder. And exhale back. Now slowly reach on your shoulders. Just tap your fingers. If you can't do it because of tight elbow and wrists, then try your best. Just make a W position, but almost touching your shoulders. Some people are very tight. They can place their palm of their hands on their shoulders. For me, I can do it, but this is very hard for those who are not flexible. Even just your fingertips touching your shoulders. As you slowly twist, your shoulders and your head in one alignment as you inhale and then exhale back center inhale to the other side exhale back center three more to go inhale slow and easy to your back exhale center keeping my core engaged trying to Pull your belly button in to engage your core muscles. Tightening abdominal bracing. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last set. To the right. Inhale. Slowly twist. Keeping my fingers touching my shoulders. Exhale. Last set. To the left. Inhale and exhale gently we're going to extend our legs now forward with your feet planted on the mat keeping your knees bent to slowly warming up our hamstrings so in this position you want to make sure your spine is neutral your core engaged so you're trying your best to open your chest so i'm placing my hands again on top of my knees to help me engage those muscles again as i inhale slowly look up again so it feels different with your feet forward and then exhale i'm gonna round forward to release tension on my low back so inhale look up gentle just like a cat and camel in a slightly bent position to slowly mobilize your spine all the way to your sacrum to the pelvis area as you inhale up stretching your neck muscles and then exhale release scooping my pelvis in pelvic curl pulling my belly button in as i inhale up again stretching my neck all the way to my chest muscles i said look up as much as i can and then exhale rounding a little bit to engage in pelvic curl last one inhale up and exhale relax and then gently we are gonna slowly pull our chest closer to our knees to a gentle release on our low back as you inhale exhale lean back engaging your abdominal muscles keeping your core engaged so you want to make sure you place your hands on top of your knees to help support you inhale pull without rounding your shoulder this time keeping your back in neutral spine so you, when you engage your abdominal muscles and your deep core muscles it will help support your back as you exhale lean back keeping your back straight try not to round your shoulders now inhale lean forward keeping your back neutral meets the chest keeping your chest heart open exhale back two more to go inhale exhale last one inhale slowly mobilize your pelvis and your hip joints exhale back okay my friends now we're extending our knees if this is too difficult for you to keep your back 
in neutral position then continue with your knees bent still but for those who are a little bit more flexible and want to challenge themselves today you can straighten your knees now keep your core engaged slowly place your hands now in front of you and crawl your fingers forward for a gentle stretch on your hamstrings keeping your back in neutral you don't want to round your shoulders like this keeping it up toes pointing you to stretch your calf muscles as you look up crawl forward to stretch inhale and then crawl yourself back exhale keeping your core engaged as you crawl forward it's a nice gentle pull on your buttocks all the way to your hamstrings and calf area exhale back inhale forward squeezing your abdominal bracing keeping your back straight exhale back two more to go crawl forward exhale back last one inhale gently pull with your fingers and exhale back gently place your hands now at the back of your head interlocking your fingers keeping your spine straight as you slowly twist now inhale slow and easy feel the pull keeping your quadriceps muscles engaged to keep your knees locked and straight toes still pointing towards to the ceiling dorsiflex inhale twist to the other side exhale back center inhale twist exhale center twist to the other side keeping your elbows apart Try not to pull it closer to your face. Keep it open to stretch your chest muscles. Inhale, twist. Exhale back. You might feel your quadriceps shaking now to keep this posture straight. Last set. Inhale. And exhale. Now reach forward with your hands facing together, elbows straight, a little bit relaxed. As we slowly twist again and open, inhale, and then gently reaching back slowly, open your palms out. Exhale back to the center. Inhale, twist to the other side, palms facing up as you twist further to reach back gently and exhale back center four more inhale exhale squeezing your core in abdominal breathing exhale keep your toes pointing to the ceiling stretch those calves muscles inhale exhale inhale reach back as much as you can exhale last set reach to the right exhale back and last one on the left inhale and exhale now place your hands and do a gentle forward fold reach on your tap top of your calves or your legs until you can reach your toes keeping your back in neutral if you can't reach your toes you can start on your knees and slowly lean forward for a forward fold each one has a different flexibility and then if you can rest your elbows as well to stretch at the end of this sitting pilates and gently round your head looking down to stretch your neck as you inhale and exhale slowly reach forward more keeping your back in neutral try not to round feel that lovely release and stretch on your hamstrings inhale exhale and then let go of your neck muscles to stretch further in your spine 
last set as you further stretch forward fold more as much as you can without hurting your back you want to make sure you stretch well safely great job my friends now we are going to our hands and knees position hands leveled with your shoulders knees leveled with your hips Gentle round to a cat and camel. Your shoulder pulling your belly button in. As you exhale, slowly look up. Arch your low back. Stretch your neck. Inhale. Exhale. Spool, pelvic curl. Angry cat. Two, camel. Exhale up. Feel that lovely release in your low back. Inhale. In, exhale up, four more, inhale in, exhale up, three more, in, exhale up, two, feel so good in your spine, and your shoulders exhale up last one inhale in and exhale up gently reach with one arm keeping your pelvis level and your weight distribution equal so you try not to lean on your left as you reach with your right thumb facing to the ceiling as you exhale, place it down to the mat. Alternating left and right, engaging your upper back and shoulders. Now my left side, keeping my body center. Exhale down. As I shift my weight to the left, but keeping everything center. Pelvis squared. Inhale. Exhale down. Reach. Tightening your shoulders to engage your upper back muscles more. Two more to go. Slow and easy mind-body connection. Last one. And last one on the other hand. Gently extend one leg, engaging your upper back muscles, and slowly lift your leg up with your knee straight. Gently, slightly bend your elbows to engage your upper back, keeping your neck engaged as you slowly lift and back with your foot leveled with your hip, and slightly go up at least 30 degrees higher, and then back with your elbows bent to target your upper back. So it's a nice isometric hold on your shoulders. So small range up and back with your foot level with your hip. Keeping your toes away to lengthen. Three more up, exit back. Now you wanna make sure you really level with your weight bearing in the center last one and then slowly place your knee back down as you switch it up slightly bend your elbows again targeting your triceps as you lift your foot up and then level with your hip down not all the way down to the mat just small range up exhale back level with your hip your foot up small range and back, four more, inhale, exhale, three more, two, and one. Slowly place your knees down. We are doing a gentle push-up now with your knees bent modified for beginners. So you want to make sure your hands are leveled with your shoulders. Your knees are a little bit further back, but if it's, this is too difficult, you can keep your knees closer towards your hips as you slowly lower your back down so your 
lower your elbows back down towards your shoulder and then slowly pull up so try to engage your core as you lower your chest down inhale all the way down and then exhale up push up inhale slowly lower your elbows push up down your chest all the way your abdomen as you push yourself up exit on your knees last one you want to make sure your hands are level to your shoulder as you lower your chest down slowly inhale and exhale up now we are going all the way down now to the mat last eccentric control down and we are going to target your upper back while in your stomach position so in a w position again 90 degrees on your elbows hands on your side palms down gently lift your upper back in a w position inhale squeezing your core in your abdomen and muscles tightening as you exhale down inhale lift your elbows up keeping your palms facing down to the mat exhale down four more exhale down three more two and one jump gently reach forward and then pull it to the side with your elbow straight so it's like swimming so slowly reach forward from your side fingers flared open to stretch your fingers and your wrists exhale pull back reach forward as you inhale exhale pull back four more reach forward engage those upper back muscles exhale back reach forward two more exhale back last one breathe in through your nose exhale through your mouth and pull back great job my friends slowly turn around lying on your back with your knees bent to support your spine we are cooling down now while lying on your back with your knees bent keep your core engaged belly button in keeping that small space that small of your back placing your hand there making sure you can glide through and now gently slowly reach up with your hands overhead all the way up with your palms facing up to stretch your armpit your shoulders to release any tension and stiffness away as you exhale inhale lift your hands again pointing to the ceiling all the way reaching towards your hips and palms up again stone rotate your arms exhale alternating reach up pointing to the ceiling as you slowly gently lower it overhead again exhale relax and release inhale lift your hands up gently and then lower again down towards your pelvis palms up breathe in as you lift and then exhale relax palms up again overhead last set lift your hands pointing to the ceiling then gently lower to your sides so on your head. Now slowly open your arms to the side like doing a beautiful butterfly stroke. As you slowly go overhead, inhale, and then exhale lower to the side, going back towards your hips. Exhale. Inhale, reach to the side overhead gently drag your hands the back of your hands on the floor 
to release any tension and relieve all the stiffness away off your shoulders and chest. Exhale to the side. Last one. Inhale. As you exhale, let's go back to W position. Elbows bent to 90. Hands leveled on your ears. And hold it in that position and hold that with two deep breaths. As you exhale, lift one leg to a tabletop position to 90. Knees to 90 degrees bent, toes pointing away as you inhale and exhale down. Alternating and then your right inhale, bend to 90, tabletop single, exhale down. Left side, inhale. Exhale, right side, squeezing your core in. Exhale, gently lower it down. Be gentle to your hips. Left side, inhale. Exhale, right side, inhale. Exhale. Now gently lift both knees down, top the tabletop. Now gently tap one foot at a time towards the mat to engage your lower abdominal muscles. Alternating left and right. Slow and easy, tap your toes. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale. Two more to go. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to tap both feet. Tap with your toes. Engaging your abdominal muscles as we progress. Exhale. Tap. Breathe in. Up. Exhale. Tap. Four more. Three. Two and one. Hold that double tabletop position. Now gently pull your toes towards you, dorsiflex. Gently extend your leg to 45 degree on one leg as you exhale back to double tabletop. Alternating left and right. Feel your lower abdominal muscles engaging. While keeping your arms in a W position. Inhale, reach. That's it, back. Squeezing your core. Inhale, abdominal bracing. Two more. Last one. And your left. Slowly lower your feet down. And slowly reach out with your palms up and gentle trunk twist. Lower your knees on one side and turn your head on one opposite side to let go all the stiffness that you, you have on your upper back and your low back area. Two more deep breaths in this position. Last one. As you exhale, twist to the other side with both knees to the left as you turn your head to the right. Feel the tension releasing off your shoulders and your chest muscles. Inhale, exhale. Last one, deep breath in. And exhale back center. And that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed my simple Pilates for posture, concentrating on our upper back, chest, and neck area, and shoulders. If, if you love this video and want to learn more about Pilates, yoga, physical therapy, health, and wellness, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you won't miss anything. And if you find value about my video, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, or you can direct message me on my social media. 
and I'll try my best to answer each one of you. Always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy you. Until my next video, bye! Thank you.